this headlight have a big crack on it. And I think when this happened, it hurt a little bit. And from what I see inside of this headlight, I have some watermarks and dust. Normally, this type of headlights, the LEDs ones and the laser ones, if they enter in contact with some moisture, some small quantity of moisture inside of them, of course, they will stop working. But this headlight, it's still working. Officially, for this type of problem, you need to replace the entire headlight, the whole assembly. Unofficially, I will be able to change the lens cover. And for this car, I will replace the lens cover also to the other headlight. Because you don't want to have a car with the brand new clear headlight and the old foggy one. For this job, I will need to remove the headlights. To be able to remove the headlights, I need to remove the kidney grills and the front bumper. To remove the kidney grills, I need to push these tabs. One here, one here and one here. And after that, I will pull these kidney grills towards me, like so. I will need to be careful because this car is equipped with night vision camera. I will need to disconnect the plug and the washing system for the camera. This is the camera system. On this grill the same. Push these tabs and pull the grill. Like so, we have these other clips. Next step, I need to remove the front bumper. Before I will be able to remove the screws from the bumper, I need to remove these uh, screws from here. To have uh, room here, I need to steer the, the wheels. And now I have more access here. From here, I have to remove these screws. This one, this one, this one, and that one. They are eight millimeter. Now I will remove this protection from here, like so, to have access on this screw and this one, this long one. Next step I need to remove this uh, sensor, I have two tabs here, one down and one up and I will push it inside. I will repeat the process on this side. I remove the two screws that are holding place the bumper to the fender. And last step, remove this parking sensor. And under the bumper, I need to remove these screws. They are uh, eight millimeter. And now I'm able to pull out the bumper from the body. Here the same. Pull down. And here in the front I have some clips. You can see it. I will release it and if I pull the bumper it will exit very easy. The same here, same, pull the clips and 
the bumper will be released on this. I will repeat the process. Pull the bumper. Pull the bumper. Pull the bumper. And now the bumper is released. I'm not removing yet the bumper because I need to unplug some plugs and the hose for the headlight washer system. I have a plug here. And after that I will push it back from its slide. I need to push this pin on the side and push the plug back. This will remain with the bumper. And on this side the same, I have this water hose, I will push this back and I will remove it. The next step I will unplug this plug from down here, like so, and after that I will release it. And now I'm able to remove the bumper. And I'm almost there. I need to remove this plastic cover from here and that one. This have this uh, plastic clips. And this one from here. Now, on top of each headlight, I have two screws, this one and this one. They are with T30. The same on this one. Now, each headlight have two more screws down here and one plug. This one from here. And another one down here. I need to remove these four screws, T30, from here. I have two plastic clips. And so I have these three T20 screws. and also on this side. And after that, I don't need to remove this uh, part completely from the car. I have a plug here for this camera and for the actuator for these vents, but I don't need, I will need just the little space to remove this uh, headlight. The step is to unplug the headlight. And I have removed it. The same process on this side. And el numero due. I will remove these guides from here. This is for the bumper. First, I need to remove these springs. Next, this plastic. After that, on the top of the headlight, I need to remove this seal, this rubber seal, like so. The same on this headlight. After that, I will wash the headlights. Thank you. 
and as have you seen, I didn't pour water on the bottom side because here and here I have some vents for this uh, headlight and if I will pour water here I will flood the headlight. And also here on the back I have this vent on the top. And I have only poured water from the top of the headlight like uh, he was in the car. On these headlights I have some screws that are uh, keeping in place the lens cover to the case. They are T10. And now I will uh, dry the headlight. And now I will set my hot air gun to 260 degrees Celsius. And I will start to apply heat to this uh, headlight and with, uh, with some tools I will start to cut the old glue and to remove it. Uh, this process is very long, very boring and very hard. I will uh, work small sections, I will remove completely the glue from this side, from the visible part uh, of, the, of this uh, headlight and after I will, do the, I will uh, clean all the headlight, I will start to remove the glue from underneath the glass and I will try to remove the glue from the inside. The process is repetitive. Eat, sleep, rave, repeat. Uh, I mean, uh, cut, clean, heat, and repeat. And I'm uh, almost finished, now I will try to split open this headlight. Hey, what do you see? I'm inside! Victory! I have one more to go. And now I need to clean the old glue. After that I will uh, take this headlight and uh, open it. And uh, at the end I will uh, clean the lens and I will put them back.
And finally, this headlight is cleaned. Uh, no more uh, old glue. Now I will uh, start to disassemble the other headlight. And voila! <laughs> Another one bites the dust. Now I need to clean it and reassemble it. Okay, now I will uh, start to clean this uh, headlight. And I want to clean these lenses and this one, they are foggy and I have these marks from here and from here. And uh, before you can see the fog after it's crystal clear you can see me
Uh, perfecto. Okay, now I need some parts from this old lens. This one. This is junk. Now I need to try to clean this uh, this ornament without destroying it. But the big problem is this one. I will try to clean this, but uh, I don't know what to say. I will try. Here it's starting to peel off and at this point I will stop touching this part. And this is the brand new lens cover. Now I put back the screws. Perfect. Next step is to put back the sealant on this headlight. Something like that. Now I need to heat this sealant to be more soft to be able to set perfectly the lens cover. Okay, after five minutes, this headlight is hot. I'll make a last check to see no dust. like that Perfect, I will leave uh, this headlight to cool down now and I will start to the other headlight.
Again, I will start to hit the headlight. And this headlight is also finished. And after this headlight uh, have cooled down, I will clean the excess uh, glue. Nice. Now I'll put back this uh, module, this is for the angel eyes. And this headlight is almost done. Now this one. And also, this headlight is finished. And finally, the pressure test on these headlights. First, I will uh, cap up the vents. For this, I have this uh, thing. It's not chewing gum. It's something similar to the sealant that I have used to seal this headlight. One here. I need to put one blank plug here to close all the air gaps. Next step, this cap I will remove it like so and I have this hole here, something like that. I will use some uh, foam. Uh, apply pressure. Perfect. Now, before I will. Uh, take out this headlight from here. I will uh, use some um, car wax on this uh, plastic case because it will look very good, but this is not uh, my uh, main purpose. My main purpose is to uh, repel the dust for a long time from this uh, headlight. I will put back the cap to this vent. Now the other headlight, the same, I will cap the plug, I will cap these two vents from the base of the headlight. I will remove the cap for this vent. Apply pressure. Perfect. Same, apply pressure. Uh, wrong hole full.
Perfect. The same, apply some wax. Put back the paint cover. And finally, the assembly time. First, I will uh, clean a little bit here, my area. I will some contact spray on the plugs. I will some grease on the screws.
and I'm almost ready. And finally, my job is almost finished. The headlights are in perfect condition. All the gaps are perfect. Everything is perfect. Everything is where it's supposed to be. The only thing that uh, I need to do now is to connect with the car and clear the errors and that's done. I will connect with this car. And I have a control unit in program abort. But this is not my problem, this is for all around vision camera. I will delete all the errors. Perfect! The only error is with the all around vision camera, it is in program abort. But I don't know what happened with this, it is not my problem. And finally, this car is repaired. Everything is working perfectly now, no error. But if I didn't show you this uh, job and you have seen this car on the road, I am pretty sure that you will swear that the headlights are brand new, but they are not. But even so, if you like my work, if you like this type of videos, please show me by hitting the like button. If you are not a subscriber and you want to see more things like this, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell to be notified in the next second that I will post a new video like this. So, thank you for being with me, thank you for watching this video, and till next time, you know the drill, stay awesome, bye now!